Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. Today we are going to talk about simulation of 12 pulse converter in MATLAB. This is a Simulink library browser. Let's uh, search for PowerView block, that is uh, the fundamental block that is required for simulation to take place. Let's add this block. Let's add voltage measurement and current measurement block as well. We need them. Uh, let's search for three phase. Uh, we need a lot of uh, parameters with respect to uh, three phase. So add one by one with respect to them uh, add three phase source this is the first block that we need we need a three phase three winding transformer so be careful with this add this block because there's another three phase three winding transformer with respect to phaser we need three phase vi measurement add this block as well uh, once this is done uh, we need a thyristor search for thyristor you will be getting a, a list of components that are available scroll right at the bottom you'll be having something called as thyristor uh, universal bridge so add this block so uh, we are not using uh, individual thyristor because of the complexity in the circuit increases and we need a 12 pulse generator block so add this block as well so once this is done uh, we need a PLL synchronization block I'll later tell you why this block is needed um, but it plays a very important role uh, in the entire circuit scroll down right at the bottom select PLL with respect to three phase be very careful with this this is with respect to three phase Phase. Once that is done, uh, we need a series RLC branch uh, that is across the load. Uh, use this, add this block uh, as well. Once this is done, uh, we need uh, to see the mean and RMS value if you would like to. Then search for mean, scroll right at the bottom, uh, choose this mean value and RMS value. There's another RMS value right at the top. Be careful uh, by not choosing this. This is used for a different purpose altogether. Uh, once this is done, we need uh, a display to see the magnitude of the output voltage. So search for display. You'll be getting it over here at this block. We also need a scope to display the output waveform. We also need a constant block uh, to trigger uh, the firing angle uh, within the system. So search for constant, add this block as well. I guess uh, we have all the components. Let's uh, place this according to the position that they are supposed to be so that it helps us to get started with the simulation. All right, here we are. So let's copy paste a uh, universal bridge. We need another one so that each thyristor bridge consists of six thyristors. So overall there are 12 thyristors within this arrangement. So it's called as a 12 pulse converter. Uh, we need a current measurement to measure the source current. So these source current waveforms are usually required to uh, check how the uh, harmonics are there uh, doing THD analysis. It plays a very important role. Uh, so uh, once this is done, let's connect B to B uh, and C to C. Uh, uh, let's double click on this and uh, disable the current measurement block click it uh, select it to no and then click on ok add this uh, connect this ac across the PLL synchronization block and connect this at this point the purpose of having a PLL synchronization block is to synchronize with our supply frequency it automatically takes a lot of values change the minimum frequency to 50 Hertz change the inputs uh, to uh, 50 Hertz with respect to our supply frequency it has KP KI KD values and it also has enable automatic gain control that it synchronizes according to our circuit and it changes the pulses that are required to be supplied so click on ok once that is done uh, we'll be connecting this across the transformer in this in this manner uh, we'll be uh, connecting this once this is done uh, this is uh, the firing angle block a constant block that is used to uh, give the firing angle let us select it to be 60 in this case um, these are given to the gate terminals uh, to the respective bridges uh, with certain uh, delay according to uh, the inputs that we have given so let's connect these transformers uh, terminals across these uh, universal thyristors bridges in this particular fashion uh, so that it completes the circuit connection um, so once this is done uh, we'll be connecting across the secondary side at this point um, rotate this uh, change it to RL uh, load uh, we can choose some uh, value of resistance and inductance uh, a random value is selected in this case you can try it for different values a detailed procedure of the design is not given with respect to only this circuit because the complication of the circuit increases and uh, it involves a lot of steps I didn't want to uh, make the circuit look much complicated I just wanted to give you a simple analysis of how it can be done uh, if you want to uh, get into the analysis point of view uh, you can refer to uh, the previous videos with respect to six pulse and repeat the same procedure uh, for uh, 12 pulse as well.
let's connect the voltage across the scope let's double click on this and change the fundamental frequency to 50 hertz be very careful with this step this is a, one of the most commonly made mistakes because our supply frequency is chosen to be 50 hertz so uh, change it uh, connect this across this point and connect this across this point uh, let us display this ac across uh, the display screen that is given now let us start uh, giving the inputs uh, parameters so the supply voltage here is 254.04 volts that is 440 divided by root 3 so you'll be getting approximately this value um, and uh, the frequency that is used is 50 Hertz so click on OK once that is done double click on this uh, go to parameters change the units into SI uh, that is according to our calculations uh, so set it to 50 Hertz and we are uh, choosing a power of 1000 watts it's not a high power rating uh, device in this case so let's uh, have a suitable assumption made uh, let's disable this to zero because we don't want internal drops to be added across uh, these uh, transformers so 254.04 is uh, the voltage that uh, the RMS value of voltage copy paste uh, this to all the other terminals as well and click on ok we cannot change magnetization resistance and inductance they will always produce drops this is default values that is set by MATLAB if you uh, change it to zero I don't think so uh, you will be getting the output there will be some error that is displayed so it's better to have it in this configuration now once this is done I guess uh, we are uh, good to go we can uh, set the simulation time to 0.3 seconds these are static loads so we can set it according to this if it is dynamic loads we need minimum 5 all right uh, so we we see the rms voltage of 63.89 and mean value of 31.81 let's double click on the scope and check how the waveform looks like uh, let's choose uh, this so that we can see two waveforms one underneath the other so let's zoom in the waveform that we are getting so here you can see there are uh, certain ripples this is the primary current waveform and this is the output voltage waveform so you can see a lot of ripples that are there uh, with respect to the source current so these are called as harmonics and you can suitably reduce it uh, by designing a filter according to power quality techniques that are used so this is the output voltage waveform that you are getting so uh, this clearly indicates uh, the harmonics generator is much higher because of a controlled uh, thyristors that are used that's it for today if you have any questions with respect to the simulation please do write it down in the comment section below if you like this video please do like it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thank you